Earlier this week, we told you about a spotted lantern fly being detected at Sunshine Park in West Seneca. Now this has farmers and agricultural scientists very concerned because the brightly colored pests could have a big impact on fruit trees and vineyard crops, which are both big business here in Western New York. We wanted to learn more, so we sent our senior bug correspondent, Nate Benson, down to Chautauqua County to learn more. There's a new threat to Western New York's thriving fruit tree and vineyard industry, the spotted lanternfly. This lanternfly is a voracious feeder. For instance, there was a vineyard down in Southeast PA that they discovered it in 2017, and in 2019, that vineyard was dead. And so it's a phloem feeder, and phloem equates to food for the plant. So it uses its mouth part and sucks right into the phloem. It leaves behind a honeydew discharge, which then makes the vine susceptible to mold, which blocks photosynthesis and kills the fruit. To think about it in movie reference terms, they're basically sucking the life out of thriving crops, like in Little Shop of Horrors. I wanted to learn more about the spotted lanternfly and how it could impact Western New York. So I drove to Portland in Chautauqua County and spoke to an expert. My name is Jennifer Phillips Russo, and I am the team leader and viticulture extension specialist with Cornell Cooperative Extension's regional ag team for the Lake Erie Regional Grape Program. Farmers, researchers, and wineries are concerned about an infestation because the grape industry alone has over a $6.5 billion economic impact on the state, and there's about 32,000 acres of grapes right here in western New York. Just driving down Route 20 or the 90 in Chautauqua County, and you'll see vineyards for miles and miles. So how did this bug get here in the first place? So this bug originated in China and Southeast Asia, and it came over here, we're suspecting, in 2014 on landscape rock. And then that went out, and the numbers just built up, we think, in wooded areas until we finally noticed it in vineyards in 2017. But it's not just grapes the lanternfly enjoys. It's also hops and apples, and we're talking wine, beer, and cider industries for New York State, not to mention the fresh markets. But what impact will this pest have on agriculture here in western New York? It could decimate our industry. And in order to eradicate it, you have to... I'm sorry, I know this seems a little bit cruel, but uh, squish it. <laughs> don't move it, don't transport it. Take a picture of it, know your location, and then you need to report it to the Department of Ag and Markets for New York State. One of the difficulties with the spotted lanternfly is its long life cycle. Its larva sac, which can hold about 20 lanternfly eggs, hatches in May or June. Then by June or July, you'll see a black and white spotted bug clumsily hopping from plant to plant. By the time between July and September, the spotted lanternfly develops a rather beautiful red color. But it's deceiving. If an insect or an animal is brightly colored, that is usually a warning sign. It's a warning sign to other predators. Don't eat me. I'm going to give you a stomach ache. I'm going to taste bad. I could even be toxic. The lanternfly develops into an adult between July and December and lays eggs that survives through winter between September and November. And I need to just make everybody aware that we do not have adults in New York State just yet. So, glass half full. Again, if you see a spotted lanternfly, squish it and leave it where it is. We'll post where you can report that sighting on WGRZ.com. In Portland, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.